Most of my weekends are spent doing projects at other people's homes, but this weekend I'm switching it up a bit and focusing completely on my master bathroom. It needs a transformation. I haven't touched it since we moved in five years ago. I mean, we're talking builder grade all the way. So this project weekend is all about my bath. I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. This is unbelievable. Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. So this is my bathroom, and this is my husband. Hi there. <laughs> And this is one space in our house that we really have done nothing to. It's a good sized bathroom, but it lacks all organization. The kids come here in almost every morning. Every day. Yeah. What I really want for this space is a bit of style. I mean, this room gets awesome natural light. It's light, it's bright. It's a great place to get ready, but it has no style. And I've done tons of weekend projects and makeovers for hundreds of other people. I'm ready to tackle one of our spaces together. All I want is one tiny little area that I can brush my teeth in without having to move the hair dryer or the hair straightener or <laughs> the hair curler or some other electronic hair device. He's such That'd a diva. Yeah. <laughs> I've been looking at this bathroom for five years. All this stuff is yours. <laughs> and have so many ideas that I just may sneak in an extra project or two beyond our usual five this weekend. It's ambitious, but I will get this done. First up is painting. I've got some great ideas and a few different places to add some color that'll really change up the space. Now, I've just gotta convince Eric. So we're painting our white walls a slightly less white version of white. <laughs> All right, I know you're a hater of white, but here's the deal. I like that this bathroom is so light and bright and airy already. I don't want that to go away. And this color is actually gray. Oh, okay. It's gonna match really well with the new tile I'm bringing in. This room is bright enough to handle a bold accent color, so black will be the backdrop for the new vanity area. The old sink vanity was in great condition, but I didn't love the style, so I'm transforming the look using cabinet paint. So we picked up stock cabinets. These are gonna be the base for my new vanity. Okay. Are you as excited about it as I am? Sure. <laughs> I'm really excited? excited about this because it's gonna give storage and kind of take all the stuff off from the sink vanity area. We're attaching pine planks onto a plywood base to create two new vanity countertops. The key here will be staining it, but then sealing it with a water-based polyurethane so it can handle the drips and drops from the bathroom. Traditionally, subway tile is installed kind of with a staggered subway pattern. Instead, for my bathroom, I kind of wanted it to have a more modern, clean feel, so all I'm doing is a vertical stacking. It'll give it a very minimalist look, but still give the effect of subway tile, just kind of in a different way. The first step of installing our new flooring is laying down tile cement board to give the new tile a solid base. For this bathroom, we're bringing in some seriously patterned tile. I love to mix and match a lot of different patterns that I think maybe some people will be intimidated by or feel like it's too much. But I think for us, we like that, or at least me, I like to have a lot of style and impact in a space. Day two is going to be filled with finishing up projects and up first is the accent wall. Creating a graphic pattern accent wall doesn't have to be complicated. I like to start out with chalk on the wall. It helps me figure out my pattern and my measurements. Then it's as simple as coming back in with wood molding, attaching it with a nail directly over my pre-chalk lines. All right, so this is a simple kind of unplugged project. We don't need any power tools for it. We don't have a closet in the bathroom, so this is gonna give us towel storage, but be kind of decorative too. You know how you've seen like blanket ladders and stuff? Sure. You're very familiar with the blanket ladder? Oh yeah, love them. <laughs> We're doing kind of a blanket ladder, but it's gonna be for towel storage. So we'll hang all the clean towels on it. I thought your towel storage was the floor. It might still be. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is super easy. We're just cutting copper pipe to size and using T connectors to create rungs. You can get all of this in the plumbing aisle at Lowe's. Was this project a little ambitious for one weekend? You betcha. But you know what they say, go big or go home. And in this case, I'm already home. I'll be honest, I thought you were a little crazy at first, but finished product speaks for itself. It looks awesome and I love it. I'm seeing a pattern with that. You think I'm crazy, it works out, we love it. Yes. So it was two long, hard days of work, but we got it done and we did way more than I anticipated, but <laughs> in the end, I think it looks awesome. I think overall this bathroom is gonna function so much better for our family. I'd love to say it's this beautiful master suite that only we'll be using, but let's be honest, all of our kids are gonna be in here using it. They already wanna use the new bathroom, but I think it's gonna function so much better now that we have kind of a sink area and the dressing vanity getting ready area over there. I mean, we just have double the surface space now and double the storage. This weekend, I'm in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, helping out a couple, Steph and Dan. We want to complete their dream home. All right, well, I think we did it. Boho Farmhouse. What do you guys think? I love it. I mean, this really feels like a living room, and I feel like that is a dining room and a kitchen. Are you loving The Weekender? Be sure to catch all 10 episodes by subscribing to the Lowe's channel on YouTube, and download the Lowe's TV app for all your streaming devices. For project details, step-by-step -step guides for every episode, visit lowes.com slash theweekender. Thanks, guys.